Um, so good morning everyone, I'm absolutely delighted to see you all here. I'm thrilled to finally get to meet so many of you that I only had email contact with for so long and I'd just like to thank you for your ongoing support of the scheme and really looking forward to working with you all in the months ahead. Um, so I guess, how did we do in 2018? Well we actually did very, very well. We delivered 2,310 visits to 945 schools, reaching just over 82,500 children. So I think that's a remarkable achievement and we had some obstacles last year. So I think we all deserve a big, huge round of applause. <laughs> so how did 2018 compare to previous years? Well, there's been uh, since the Heritage Council took over uh, management of the scheme from the INTO back in 2013, there's been a steady increase in visits through the years, as you can see there. Um, this year, we were expecting to deliver a minimum of 2,600 visits, and already this year we've taken 1,000 bookings, so it's a great start to the year. This slide here gives you the breakdown of the number of visits by county in 2018. So obviously, the bigger the county, the higher the volume of visits. I think there's one worth pointing out, though, and that's Wexford with 178, oops, sorry, 178 visits for Wexford. I think that's a remarkable achievement. And I think that's probably because our experts in Wexford seem to work on five series visits a lot with the Wexford schools. So well done, everyone. Um, also, Ross Common. Um, they had a, a great result this year, and, and that's partly thanks to the heritage officer in Roscommon who ran a series of different school projects for the national schools, so they sponsored the school's portion of visits. Um, so this next slide here probably gives a clearer picture. Um, this is looking at the percentage of schools visited by county, and we're comparing 2018 to 2017. So as you can see, um, in general, there is an increase in 2018. There's a few exceptions, and they're highlighted in red. So the increase is mainly due to funding, the fact that we have a more active panel at the moment. Um, so we took on, I think it was 50 new people at the start of last year. So, um, so far, so good. We're, we're getting great results. And also, we have uh, our online presence has greatly improved. Um, that's through our new website, and also, we, social media pages. So the total number of new schools introduced to the scheme in 2018 was 223. So they are schools that had never before had a visit from a heritage and schools expert. Um, and then you can see here the breakdown by county. Um, so the number of new schools introduced to the scheme in 2018. So hats off there to Cork and Dublin in particular. Um, Cork introduced 41 new schools and 37 in Dublin. Um, so we decided to have a little bit of fun with this and it might appeal to those of you with a more competitive streak. <laughs> so introducing the inaugural Heritage in Schools Award. So it's an award to the heritage specialist who has introduced the greatest number of new schools to the scheme in any given year. So before we give you the results for 2018, I'm just going to quickly mention some of our priorities for the rest of this year. I suppose the big one is um, the current panel is due to expire at the end of this year. So we will be putting a call out to interested parties in June of this year. Um, we'll probably leave it until the end of August for people to get their applications in. And then we'll look at interviews probably next October. Um, so existing panel members will be invited to remain on the panel, but you will need to have completed your five visits minimum for the year. Um, the other thing that we want to look at this year is we want to start planning for a new booking and claim system. So we're hoping that we'll, we'll have a budget next year hopefully to implement something. So in the meantime, if you have any ideas or suggestions, just drop me a line or pick up the phone. This year too, we really want to strengthen our links with the Heritage Officer Network, and I'm delighted that we have five Heritage Officers here today. Um, if you want to put your hands up, maybe we have Catherine Casey from Leash, um, we have Connor Nelligan from Cork, um, we have Derva Ledwidge from Kilkenny, um, 
do we have Joe Gallagher from Donegal? And do we have Brent McSherry? No, he, he may be running late. Um, and then, as always, we're going to continue to try and reach the schools in the counties on the lower end of those tables that we looked at. So now, the moment that you've all been waiting for, so the award for this year's Heritage in School Specialist, who's reached the most number of new schools, we actually had a tie, so there are three people, each reaching 10 new schools each. So can you put your hands together and give a round of applause to Aidan Dockery, Aina Nilana and Mark Nolan. So just have a small prize here, guys, if you'd like to come up. <laughs> you won't have to make a speech. Come on, Aina. <laughs> Um, so thank you everybody. Um, our next uh, uh, talk would be from Thinkhouse. Uh, Thinkhouse are a PR company that will be working with the Heritage Council for the year ahead. So we have Sarah and Dave who are going to give us some invaluable advice on our social media strategies. So um, 